Hello people, my name is Mutombo and I am a student of the University of Cape Town and I am currently studying for my Masters of Engineering degree. Here I have the bag that I carry to school on a daily basis and as the title shows, I'm going to be telling you exactly what is in my backpack and what I carry to school on the regular. I love, love, love watching these videos. I think what's in my bag videos are one of those YouTube classics that are just timeless. All right, now that I'm looking at it, I probably should not have worn black to showcase a black bag, but anyway. So this bag is just a simple black bag and I just put a couple of accessories on it. It has this tassel that I got off Amazon. It also has this pin that says, put on the whole armor of God and that covers Ephesians chapter 6, verse 13 to 17. I love this Bible passage and when I saw it, I just knew that this would be the perfect pin for my bag. I also got this off. Amazon. For those in South Africa, I got this bag off takeilot.com. I'm sure you can still find it there. I'm going to link it in the description box below. I don't know if anybody will be interested in that bag, but you never know. In this first compartment, I have some tissues, a pack of tissues. My nose is always running, so I always need one of these. Next, I have this pack of Detour wipes. Honestly, in this period where we have the coronavirus terrorizing us, this is very important. The next thing I have here are my earphones and um, I keep them in this pouch. These earphones are from JBL and they last very long. This is my second pair of these particular earphones and I only replaced the first pair because I lost it, not because it got bad. You know, with earphones, one side always stops working before the other side and that is the most annoying thing, but these have lasted me a long time. This pouch came from some Volcano earphones that I had bought in the past, but those ones didn't last me a long time. One side stopped working before the other and I just kept the pouch and that is where I keep my, my JBL earphones. That's it for the first pouch. We can move on to the next pocket. Here I actually don't keep anything and this third pouch is I think the most used. The first thing I have here are my sunglasses. Honestly, you can't do without sunglasses in Cape Town because Cape Town is very windy and every time that I leave the house without sunglasses, something gets into my eyes and it's just... The next thing I have is my Detour hand sanitizer. It's almost finished. Next, I have some chewing gum because, I don't know, your girl just loves chewing. Next, I have a mirror. I carry a mirror with me every day because I always have to monitor the condition of my face. It's not it's not vanity, it's it's a medical condition. I have some Vaseline for my lips and just any dry patches that I find on my body as I go about my day. I don't carry hand cream or any sort of cream with me. This is what I use when I leave the house. The next thing I have here is my UCT student card and oh, I always have to have that with me. Next I have my little book. I always carry this notebook with me because this is where I write my shopping list and sometimes when I need to write a new grocery list, I always go back to the old ones to refer what I need and how much I buy and all of that. So I like having this with me. The next thing I have is this tiny piece of paper where I put my earrings because when I go to school throughout the day, sometimes my earrings irritate me, especially when I put on your headphones. So I just have to take them out and I put them on this paper. And that is all that is in this pouch. All right, what do we have here? All right, here I have my headphones. These are the Tune 500 Bluetooth headphones, JBL as well. The only reason why I have this is because with the normal earphones, sometimes when I tap on it or when I move, I actually hear the sound of me moving in my ear. So if the string of the earphone touches anything, I hear the sound loud in my ear. That's the only thing that I would say I don't like about it the earphones that are in here and that is the main reason why I have this because it's wireless and I won't have that same problem next I have my computer mouse and USB cable 
I'm always going to need to charge my phone so this cable never leaves my bag. I have another one on my desk that I use while I am at home but this one stays in my backpack just so I never find myself in a situation where I'm at school and I've forgotten my charging cable. That would be tragic. Next I have my computer mouse. Um, so I always have my mouse with me. The next thing I have here is my laptop charger. Next thing I have here is my pencil case. I see people who just put their pens in their bag like that without using a pencil case and I can't. I just can't. <laughs> and in here I have some highlighters, pens, um, a USB drive. You never know when you're going to need a USB drive. These are just your regular school supplies and most of these pens I bought since last year and the pencil I bought while I was in Cameroon. That's why I like mechanical pencils because they last very long. So this mechanical pencil is actually three years old. I've been using this since Cameroon. Next I have my wallet. This wallet is worse for wear. It looks terrible but it does the job. It's my wallet. The last thing in here is my bottle of water. I actually wash this and fill this up every day with um, tap water, filtered tap water. And honestly, I've never been able to justify buying a water bottle just because it doesn't leak. So it's fine, like I'm squeezing it. So it has never leaked in my bag. It has never popped open. So this is empty. On to the last pouch. This is where I keep, um, okay, let's go through this. Here I have this novel, The Alchemist, which I am currently reading. I read it only when I am on the bus on the way to school. You know, just when I'm idle, I don't actually sit to read this. So it, this will take me about a month to finish. Next, I have two notebooks. I like this spiral notebook. I got this at P and A. This is the notebook I'm currently using for my dissertation brainstorming and it's just a regular notebook. I'm writing down all my ideas here, just how I want to structure my work and all of that. This is the book that I use for one of the courses that I did last year but the information here is still relevant to what I am working on on my dissertation. So sometimes I have to go back to this notebook to infer and just cross check a few things. So I always carry that. All right. So I carry this file where I put all the papers I am reading. You know, when you're working on a thesis or a dissertation or any form of research, you really have a lot to go through in terms of papers that have been written by other authors and all of that. So these are the ones that I am reading for now. Next we have my planners. So this is what I use to plan out my week. It just looks like this. See, there is my name, my email address. Oopsie. I like this planner because it spreads out the entire week across these two pages. So it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then Saturday and Sundays share this small space here. My Saturdays and Sundays are very busy, so I don't know what these people think. Yeah, so I just use it to schedule my entire week. It just gives me an overview of what my week is going to look like. So the next thing I have here is my academic planner. The creators of this journal actually meant for it to be one where you are supposed to write your dreams and aspirations and your life goals and all of that. So instead of writing dreams as they, are, as they have allocated it here, I instead use it to schedule my studies and just plan out how for each study session is going to be looking like. So the last thing we have in here is of course my laptop. So this is what I use for studying, for editing, for basically everything. This is the HP NV360, 360 because it rotates 360 degrees. To be honest, for about 4 months, I actually forgot that this laptop rotates and I was only using it like this. I mean, even when I remembered, I never ever rotated or used it in tablet mode, but yeah, it's just... It's a nice laptop. So the next thing we have in here is my drawing tablet. And this is what I use to draw all my illustrations. I connect this to my laptop and I use this with its pen as an input 
for all my drawings you can see my drawings and my illustrations on my at instagram page which is mutombo.visuals on instagram i'm going to leave it linked in the description box below if you are interested in checking that out you might see something you like there i keep this in my bag because i actually spend more time in school than at home and you never know when somebody will need something touched up maybe a past client will need some sort of adjustment minor adjustment and they would send it to me or they would text me and tell me that they need this done i have this stapler this stapler actually comes in handy since i'm printing a lot of paper so i need them to be stapled um i think that is all that is in my bag oh i actually forgot one pouch <laughs> so here i have this bag this is like my little emergency kit panadol because sometimes i get headaches um i have an extra pack of tissues and um, for the guys watching i'm sorry but <laughs> ah, you never know you just never know you always need an emergency kit and that is mine that's it guys i've emptied my backpack that's all the stuff that i carry in my bag every day i hope you enjoyed poking your nose into my school bag because i certainly enjoyed showing you if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up to support this channel and be sure to subscribe if you are new because i post vlogs and videos about my everyday life and experiences you might like it you never know I have a new video up on this channel, Mutombo Daily, every Sunday. So, see you next Sunday and see you in my next video. Bye. Stay blessed. I carry this. Oh. This has a passport here.